Dear Toronto, I can see your posture is slumping, slouching, very nearly crouching. Toronto, did you mean to take out your pulse or has your heart heartbeat been stung by a stagnant synchronicity? Your melody of troubadouring buskers rooting, fluting, brooding on corners in subway entrances has made an exit, washed away to mute by the air of neuroses. In a pub on the corner of Bloor and Lippincott, taps stand at attention, trying to make out excess echoes of conversations past, a distorted social syllabus amid a puzzle of upturned chairs, wary whispers distancing themselves from the truth. Young Street never looked so old, even the glitter glamour of advertising at the square can't save face. Street preacher, ever the reacher, solitarily looking like a creature, Jesus saves if only for useless sound waves bouncing off empty buildings. Toronto, we're the children at your mercy, treading softly in a city hushed. We're the innovators invoking connections at six feet apart. We retire to abodes, washing our hands with when this is over. In the stasis limelight of HD and LCD screens, Toronto, we are the mothers and fathers, incubating the future potency of your character. We are the non-binary advancement of your sound resounding. We are the poet prophets, the symphonic soldiers, the poorest paupers with paintbrushes waiting for clearance to launch our spectrum onto your gray canvas once again. Help stop the spread of COVID-19. Please follow the advice of Toronto Public Health and avoid non-essential travel. Also, to avoid crowded vehicles, please consider traveling at off-peak times.